Hey what's up guys, it's Bhavan here from RenderRaw.com You guys might have been using Samsung's latest foldable smartphone for a while now but ever since it got announced, one of the main things I always wanted to test out on these foldable smartphones is the water resistance rating that Samsung is claiming. I wanted to put these underwater to test out how well uh, it does, whether it will survive or not because these are the world's first foldable smartphones with a water resistant rating so that's a big deal and i really wanted to put it into a bathtub and try out and see if it will survive or not so this is a perfect time to test this out because i just got my hands on the all new gopro hero 10 black which is what i'm using right now to record this video as well so um i got a bathtub over here i got both of the foldable smartphones right over here so this is one and here i have the other one in my other pocket so both of the foldable smartphones are here we have a bathtub over here i'm gonna fill this up right now and then let's go ahead and put both of these into this bathtub and see if it will survive the water test right here on Android Online. If you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. Let's get started with today's video. Before I get started with this video, I want to remind you guys uh, that I'm just doing this video as a test to show you guys how these new foldable smartphones fare against water. Uh, but I'm only doing this in fresh water and that is what I recommend for you guys as well if you want to try it. But uh, it's not recommended to use it uh, in pools and especially not at the beach because there could be a lot of sand and everything and because this has that foldable mechanism. Uh, since it's not dust resistant, uh, it's not recommended to use there, but uh, overall day-to-day -day operations, if, if, if it's raining outside or whatever, you can still just uh, keep using um, your foldable smartphone without much of a worry. That's why I want to do this uh, test and show you guys. Just gonna dunk it in and see how, it, how well it will do. So without wasting any more time, let's do this. First things first, I gotta go ahead and start filling this bathtub up. So let's go ahead and lock this in and start the water. So we're gonna go with uh, normal pool water here. So I just put that and I'm not gonna be using any foam or salt here with this. So let we wait for this to fill up. Once it's fully filled up, we can put our foldable smartphone right into this. All right, so the bathtub is now filled. We have both our foldable smartphones. There's the Flip 3 over here, the 4 3 over here. Bathtub is ready to go with the water. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and put this in, shall we? So I'm gonna just Take it out and show you guys that it is indeed working. I'm gonna place this one over here and here's the full tree all working right now. So let me go ahead and unfold it as well. As you can see, it's all working. So now let's go ahead and just put it in to the water. So just like that, as you can see, the phone is now underwater. There we go. Still working, no issues. I'm gonna keep that to the side for just a sec. Take the flip. Right, there we go. That's also underwater right now. As you can see, this phone is also turned on, you can see on the cover display that this is on. So just like this, I can easily place it in water and uh, fry this one out. So I'll just go ahead and put this inside the bathtub and give you guys a close up with the GoPro Hero 10 underwater. Here we go. A 
few moments later. So here I have both of the foldable smartphones unfolded right now underwater. So still surviving, no issues whatsoever. Awesome. This is really, really awesome. So the new foldable smartphones have the IPX8 certification, which means it's water resistant, but not dust resistant. But this is the most important feature for me personally, and I really love that I can uh, put my uh, foldable smartphone underwater, especially because it's an expensive uh, device. I love having that protection on the new foldable smartphones. So I have both of the foldable smartphones over here and I'm going to get in to the bathtub just like this. Here I go with both of the devices nicely underwater. So in this kind of scenario, I can easily use my foldable phone here to watch whatever I want. So let's say I want to watch something on Netflix, I'm going to keep on device over there in the corner. And let me go ahead and unfold the Flip 3. Open up YouTube. And I can go ahead and watch any video. This is the GoPro Hero 10 Black that I have over here in the sealed package so I can't wait to get this opened up and I also have the perfect companion for this and that is the Sandisk Extreme Pro 128GB micro SD card that is perfect for this Hero 10 Black. Super. Another thing about the foldable smartphones I forgot to show you guys before is that uh, with the flex mode you can use both of these especially in a bathtub kind of situation you can put the fold 3 like this flip 3 like this and watch a video on YouTube so right now I'm watching a video on YouTube on my GoPro uh, unboxing GoPro Hero 10 unboxing video so it's playing on both of these devices and I can just lay back nicely on this uh, bathtub and enjoy that video on either of my smartphone without any stand or mount because both of these foldable smartphones have what is called flex mode which I have a separate video on uh, from last year as well so just wanted to point that out as well pretty cool right by the way one thing if you put your foldable smartphone into water you might see this warning when you try to charge your device uh, so it says don't use charging via the usb port but not to worry uh, since this port has wireless charging you can just place it on a wireless charger and still charge up the device it's just that until this port is dried up you can't really use a charger to charge it but other than that everything else is all good with this right after i take the devices out of the water i usually use a clean towel to clean them up so i'm gonna place both devices like this get a towel and then use this to clean up both of the devices and wipe out all the water just like that flip is done now the fold both outside and on the inside 
just like that and don't forget the hinge as well because that's where most of the water will be left over so right now as you can see both devices fully survived this test and if you just have a look both devices are working no issues whatsoever so that's pretty awesome so guys with all of that let me know what you guys thought about this video if you liked it smash that like button hit on that subscribe button share this video with your friends let me know what are the videos you guys want to see featuring the new foldable smartphones from samsung if there's anything in particular i would definitely love to make that happen and definitely let me know what you guys think about the camera quality with the new gopro hero 10 as well that i'm using right now uh the underwater footage was shot with this one indeed so let me know what you guys think and until i see you guys in my next video this is bano signing out